Hey, what's up, guys? We got a real quick video this time. Uh, somebody had asked me in Lightburn how to put an image inside of text. So let's do that. All right, so I've got here the Marvel logo and a whole bunch of Marvel characters. I'm just going to select them and drag them both in. Okay, they're really huge. So let's. Uh, First of all, scale them down to a reasonable size. Okay, that's still very large. Okay, something like that maybe. And I'll select that one and scale that down. Obviously, it'll have to be larger than the text. Okay, so let's set that one aside for now. We're going to work on this one. And so we've got it selected. I'm going to right click and trace image. And so we've got it tracing the outline of all the text and the outside border. That's important. And I'm going to tell it to delete the original image after tracing. So we'll click OK. And now we're just left with a vector line. So, uh, I don't want this outer line here, so I'm going to right click it and ungroup and then just select the outer line and delete it. And then I'm going to select everything else and regroup it. So I'll pick group. Okay, and I'm going to set this vector text to a tool layer. And of course, you would have the same thing if you just created the text yourself, if you typed Marvel. Uh, but of course, you don't have that exact font necessarily. So this, the same thing would work that way. Okay, so uh, we've got it as a tool layer. And we can bring our image up. And okay, that's not exactly what we want. Uh, so if your text is hidden behind the image, what you can do is come up to Arrange and come down and either push to back or push to front. Okay, and then uh, so we've got it the way we want. Our text is on top. I'm going to select both of them and right click and apply mask to image. And there you go, we've got our text in there. Uh, but suppose your image isn't quite the way you want it. That's okay, you can still adjust it. Oops, let's uh, just select the image, which we can do. And then just move it around. So uh, suppose uh, we've got the Hulk is down here, but his face is covered up. But we do have Wolverine here, we want both of them. So we can scale and move the image around. So, okay, so we can make some fine tuned adjustments. So, okay, so there we go. We got most of Hulk and most of Wolverine and some of the other characters. So, now you can adjust uh, the image inside the text however you want, and now you're ready to burn it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.